Hyperlative. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer, and this is some Medal of Honor gameplay. Um, I'm playing uh, Sector Control, and um, I start out with the P90 here, uh, but I later changed to the MP7 to then change it up again to the M4A1, I believe. Uh, because uh, I will, right here I was trying to level the uh, spec up or the special ops class to the max and I was first trying out the P90 because you know it's actually a gun that I I really just like the style of it and a little bit because it's the weapon that they use in um, in Stargate actually after a while they go over to the P90 as their uh, designated weapon and I think uh, the magazine also looks so cool with the, the you know the red color and see-through glass and you know all that good stuff <laughs> so I started out with that and then I tried the mp7 but um, it, it didn't work out for me so I went over to the m4a1 which is actually a really good weapon and I did really well to put it you know in a nice manner Instead of just saying, yeah, I raped ass, I just, yeah, I just put it in there. It sounds so nasty and dirty. So, um, yeah, I, uh, as I said, I changed it up to the M4A1 and, uh, and I did well. So, that's good. So, guys, I'm putting up another video here. Uh, <laughs> my last video was, of course, the um, world video where I... Um, talked about the UMP 45 and I've got at least one more um, weapon that I I have the footage I just have to finish up the um, you know the hard work <laughs> you know reading up properly on the gun I mean I know a little about it uh, from uh, from what I've heard around but you know before I do a world episode I read up on the gun I Look around from different sources from the from the web. Some of the sources I've learned learned that um, they're pretty reliable, but I always double check the facts. You know, check different different sources. Uh, check what different sources have to say about the gun, and especially what the manufacturer has to say about the gun and what kind of specs they um, uh, they claim the gun to have, if you will. So. Um, that is that. I am also going pretty soon. I'm guessing that it's going to be in my next video if nothing else happens. Uh, my next video is going to be something that I've been thinking a lot about, um, you know, pa the past two months. It's something that I kind of started two months back and then I kind of dropped off and didn't do anything with it. And I'm thinking of actually finishing it up now. Um, uh, it's kind of time sensitive because it should I should make I should finish the th you know uh, video and work with it before Battlefield 3 is released and while that is you know uh, two months away I guess a little more than two months away I um, I kind of want to put it out a little before the release and not on the day of release yeah here it is <laughs> so um, it may turn out really well it may turn out horribly I don't know uh, we'll have to see how it does um, personally I find it a bit funny and if you're a bit like me you might have find it funny too I'll kind of just pass it around you know the different um, uh, channels or community channels that that's there that that'll um, you know take submissions from nobodies like me and uh, we'll see how I do I mean I don't know uh, if you um, if you look at the gameplay you may see that it's a little sped up and it's something that I've started doing in my recent videos I've um, started to speed up my gameplay actually to a hundred and fifteen percent and it's not necessarily because I think my gameplay is boring um, it's not necessarily boring I guess but the thing is that I kinda wanna try to keep my videos somewhat short so 
I'm going to try to keep them, you know, around the six or seven minute mark or shorter. Um, to make them much shorter isn't that easy and it's not always beneficial, but I think that for the general YouTuber, you know, commentator releasing uh, content, I think that the uh, six or seven minute mark is about the edge of what people are, you know, uh, what they're willing to see. I mean, if you can't keep it interesting that far, people are not going to keep watching you. So I've, I've, I'm kind of wanting to keep it kind of sort of short. So I won't, I'm really hesitant to kind of cut my gameplays short. So what I've done is actually speed them up. And I'm thinking that in the future, I'll perhaps um, cut them into several pieces. So for example, say I'm playing Rush on in, in Battlefield 3, I may take, you know, uh, there's say there, say there's four pairs of bases uh, in a rush map and I'll take two of the pairs in the first video and the second two pairs in the next video for example and um, kind of split them up like that because that'll probably make the videos more overcomable and I'll be able to, able to edit edit them down Jesus sometimes I just wish I was born in an English speaking country that I could learn English properly and not this well that's it guys that's the end of the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next time. Snackis.